Anyway, back to the kids. Right at the beginning when he was talking about his birthday, we had a little birthday party for him on the and I invited to bring him across and brought and, and brought her little boy over. And I had made this birthday cake with angel cake and um, ice cream in layers, and I'd cut it all up so it was shaped like a train and loaded up the, the coal car with candies and sprinkled chocolate over the top. It was really cute. We had chocolate marshmallows for wheels, and I was just thrilled. Of course, now i got to think up something for the birthday party, but <laughs> that's not till next week. Anyway... Oh, a couple of days after his birthday, and I decided we were going to fix up our hair for New Year's. So we got this uh, streaking, hair streaking kit. And I went over to her place, and we decided that we were going to do each other's hair. <clears throat> we get the plastic cap put on my head, and we had all bits of hair sticking through it, and we managed to get all the stuff globbed on it and we were sitting there counting the minutes waiting for it to bleach out. Of course she just didn't know I was doing this. All of a sudden we hear this almighty crash from the living room. Of course I get up and go running because my kids it's making the noise. And it's just screaming. I pick him up and look at him and thought oh god he's gone and cracked his eye right on the edge of her coffee table. Smooth rounded edge. Don't ask me how he did it. But he had the most beautiful bruise right on his cheekbone and the corner of his eye was bleeding. So there we are putting ice on it and trying to figure out whether it's bad enough I should take him over to the hospital because that's a 12 mile each way trip. No, maybe not 12 miles, about 8 miles, but anyway. Finally I decided that it looked like it might need a couple of stitches. So I had to call up from next door to come in and hang on to him while I went and, and I went and washed all this guck off my hair and of course then I had to wash it and then I had to dry it and all the time still crying and we're rushing around like mad fools. Anyway, finally I get over to the hospital and sure enough it needed two stitches all oh, right in the corner of his eye. Was he ever lucky? Anyway, the following day you should have seen it. Mom and Nan, this was New Year's Eve. Mom and Nad were going out with us. They arrived and took one look at him, and I, I thought your mother was going to faint. It was just about at its worst, then. it was red and purple streaks. Of course, and he uh, took all the skin off the chin bone, off the cheekbone, so that was really looking messy. And this uh, two, you know, black threads coming from the corner of his eye where they'd stitched it, and all blackening and reddening under the eyeball and over it. Anyway, he's, boy, I don't, I think it's just a week since he did it, and it's almost gone. It's just incredible how fast they heal. Of course, in, when would it be? Three days later, goes and cracks his head on our coffee table and ends up with a goose egg. I don't know about those guys. I'm telling you, they give me more trouble. I took back to the doctor to get the stitches out on Tuesday, and of course the doctor looks at me and says, uh, this is still the old injury, isn't it? Because, oh, he was just kidding me, because about three weeks previous to this, I'd had to take go over to the hospital again. They were running around the house, and he tripped over and fell and smashed his head right on. Well, we've got a whole wall full of mirror tiles, and of course, he broke a mirror tile, and it, part of the pieces fell down behind the tile below, and we couldn't tell whether we'd picked up all the pieces because of the shag carpet and everything. So we're examining the cut, and I thought I could feel a piece of glass under the skin. So we take him over and need to get that his head cut open and all explored underneath for pieces of glass. This was like three weeks before he blacked his eyes. The so poor Dr. Gray must think I beat my children. Mind you, there are days when I feel like it. Anyway, enough of injuries. Bye. No. No. Because, uh, you already told Grandma about you as a player. Bye, Jack. Eh? We're going to say.
A beaver, isn't he? Are you gonna be a beaver? What does he have when he's a beaver? Um, he hat, shirt, tie, and he goes to beavers every week. And what do beavers do? Sharing, sharing, sharing. I Sharing, sharing, sharing. Not very good at sharing, is he? Huh? Some of the time. We got lots of snow here. You wouldn't believe it. I, I don't think it's been above freezing now since beginning of December, since Jeff Nan came. It's uh, bad walking for her, especially out front of our place, because the snowplow can't come around the circle where we are, it just comes down the main street, so it's kind of rough for her. Anyway, I'll close off now. Our love to everybody. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye now. Say bye bye to Grandma. Bye. Goodbye, everybody.